Hello, I'm Abhishek. In this video, we are going to discuss the math section of NCGMC 2017 paper. So, we'll start with question number one. The LCM of two numbers is 48, and uh, the numbers are in the ratio 2 ratio 3. Then we need to find the sum of the numbers. So, their LCM is given as 48, and the ratio numbers are in the ratio 2 ratio 3. So, I'm assuming the first number to be 2x and the second number to be 3x. Now, see. What will be the LCM of these two numbers? Now x is common, so x a ki bar aega, then 2 into 3. This will be the LCM. So LCM is basically 6x, and the value of this LCM is given as 48. From here x comes out to be 8, so the numbers are 2x. So 2x becomes 16, and then 3x, 3x becomes 24. So the sum of these two numbers was asked in the equation, so the sum becomes 40. So the correct answer is option C, that is 40. Moving to the next question. Okay, so the next question is the difference of squares of two consecutive odd integers is divisible by which of the following integers? Now to solve this question, what you can do is you can simply assume any two odd integers, consecutive odd integers. So let me take the values as one and three. So now the difference is the square of one is one only, the square of three is nine, fine. So the difference between their square is nine minus one, that is equal to eight. So the correct answer is eight. And in case you want to have a general solution, then let us assume the values of these two consecutive odd integers to be 2x plus 3 as first integer and 2x plus 1 as second integer. Now, why I'm taking 2x plus 1? Because when we substitute any value of x, the 2x plus 1 will always be odd. No matter what is the value of x that we are substituting, 2x plus 1 will always be odd. So, we have difference later. So, let us use the formula of a plus b whole square. So, this will be a square plus b square plus 2ab. Fine. And this is a square. Bahar minus sign is a negative. Minus b uh, plus b square and plus 2ab. Bahar negative sign is a sign. Mene negative. Kar diye. So, 2a becomes this. Now, this 4x square gets cancelled out. So, we have 8 plus 8x. And if we take 8 common, so this will be 1 plus 8. So this number, no matter what is the value of x, this number is always divisible by 8. So the correct answer is 8. By the way, this is the better method to solve this question. Such type of questions, in fact. Fine, so let's move to the third question. 0 0.36 is written in the simplest fraction form than the sum of numerator and denominator. So 0 0.36 can be written as 36 over 100. And uh, when I cancel this out, to get this in simplest form, so by dividing by 4, this will be 9, this will be 30, uh, 25. So the sum of these two is equal to 34. Very easy question. So option A is the correct answer. Fourth question. Okay. A crate of mangoes contains one bruised mango for every 30 mangoes in the crate. If three out of every four bruised mangoes are considered unsellable, and there are 12 unsellable mangoes in the crate, then what the then how many mangoes are there in the crate? So I am assuming that there are 30x mangoes in the crate, total mangoes. So bruised kitne honge? Every one out of 30. So in case we have 30x mangoes, so x mangoes bruised honge? Fine. Now, three out of every four bruised mangoes are considered unsellable. So bruised mangoes x hai. Unka three-fourth jo bhi hota hai, wo unsellable hota hai. So three-fourth of x is unsellable. And this is given as 12. So x from here comes out to be 16. Fine. Then the question it is asked that how many mangoes are there in the crate? So 30 into x. This is 480. So the correct answer is option B. That is 480. Moving to next question, question number five of this set. Okay. The so question number five is nine person went to a hotel for taking their meals. Eight of them spent 12 rupees each on their meal, and the ninth spent eight rupees more than the average expenditure of all the nine. So let us assume, let us assume that average expenditure was X rupees. So what was the total expenditure? Now total expenditure was eight of the friends spent 12 rupees each and the ninth one spent eight rupees more than the average. So average was X, so his expenditure must be X plus eight. Fine, eight rupees more than the average. Now when 
this is a total expenditure and total friends is 9 that total, total number of friends is 9 so when i divide this total expenditure by total number of friends so i will get the average value and the average is x so this is 96 plus 8 is equal to 9x minus x so 8x is equal to 104 or x from here comes out to be 13 now uh, what was the total money spent by all of them so total money is spent by all of them is 9 into x right so 9 into 13 which is 117 so the correct answer is option c that is 117 sixth question of this set abhi's age after six years will be three seventh of his father's age 10 years ago the ratio of the ages was one ratio five what is abhi's father age at present see this is a question based on uh, problem on ages. So what you need to do in such question, always assume the present ages to be x and y, whatever you assume now, always assume it to be present ages. So let's, the present age of Abhay is A and that of his father is F. Now, after 6 years, so after 6 years, age of Abhay will be A plus 6 and that of his father will be F plus 6, fine. Now Abhay will be 3 seventh of his father's age. So, this value must be 3 7 of this value. Fine. So, this is our first equation. So, on solving this equation, we will get 3f is equal to 7a and 42 minus 18 is 24. So, this is our first equation. Fine. 10 years ago, now 10 years ago, the age of every must be a minus 10 and that of his father must be f minus 10. Their ratio was 1 ratio 5. So basically, Abhay was 1 fifth of his father's age. And solving this equation, we will get an equation which is f is equal to 5a minus 40. Now let us substitute the value of f from second equation into first equation. So 3 into 5a minus 40 is equal to 7a plus 24. Now I am not showing the whole calculation part, that is very easy, I hope you all must be able to do the same. Fine, so on solving this equation you will get the value of A as 18. And on substituting the value of A as 18, 18 in this, any of the equations, you will get F as 5 into 18 minus 40, so basically 90 minus 40 is 50 years. The correct answer is option B, that is 50 years. Fine, seventh question of this set, 2 raised to power n plus 4 minus 2 raised to power n plus 2 is equal to 3. So I can write this as 2 raised to power of n into 2 raised to power 4. This is a property that x raised to power a into x raised to power b can be written as x raised to power a plus b. So my same property I have used around. This n plus 4 can be written as 2 raised to power n into 2 raised to power 4. Similarly, this can be written as 2 raised to power n into 2 raised to power 2. This is equal to 3. So 2 raised to power 4 is 16. So 16 into 2 raised to power n minus 4 into 2 raised to power n is equal to 3. Or 16 minus 4 is 12 into 2 raised to power n is equal to 3. Or 2 raised to power n is 3 by 12. And 3 by 12 is 1 by 4. And 1 by 4 is nothing but 2 raised to power minus 2. And this is equal to 2 raised to power n. So from here we can say that the value of n is equal to minus 2. Option D is the correct one. Question number 8. Due to reduction of 6 1 by 4 percent in the price of sugar, a man is able to buy 1 kg more for Rs. 120. Now, uh, there is very useful short trick to solve this type of questions and these type of questions are very frequent in competitive examination. So the trick is using increment decrement principle. If you know this principle. So if there is a decrement, 6 1 by 4 is 25 by 4. So if there is an, uh, uh, this is in terms of percentage, right? So if there is a decrement of 6, 25 by 400, or 25 by 400 can simply be written as 1 by 16. Fine. So there is a decrement of 1 by 16. So the corresponding increment must be of 1 by 15. This is very important theorem. Whenever we have an increment corresponding to x upon y, the corresponding decrement is always x upon x plus y. This is very important short trick. Okay, there must be a video on my channel only uh, for this short trick. So you must watch that video as well. This is very important short trick. The increment after x upon y ka hota hai, the corresponding decrement x upon x plus y ka hota hai. 
Now that decrement was given to us, 1 upon 16, so increment is now 1 upon 15. Now increment is now decrement by price, may increment by quantity. A man is able to buy 1 kg more. This increment is now 1 kg is now increased. So Q by 15, 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 और इंक्रीमेंट कितने के इक्वल है 1 के इक्वल सो क्यू की वैल्यू द क्वांटिटी बिकम्स 15 केजी एंड दिस क्यू इज द इनिशियल क्वांटिटी अच्छा हमारा टोटल एक्सपेंडिचर कितना था 120 रुपीस और उस पे कितना आ रहा था 15 केजी तो इनिशियली प्राइस कितना था 8 रुपीस पर केजी नाउ अब क्या हो रहा है वी आर एबल टू परचेस 1 केजी मोर सो अब 120 रुपीस में हम कितना परचेस कर रहे हैं 16 केजी सो द प्राइस नाउ इज 7.5 रुपीस पर केजी so the correct answer to this question is option B, that is rupees 7.5. Okay, ninth question, very basic question. So what, what percent of 7 is 84? So 84 over 7 into 100. So as simple as that, right? So this on solve will come out to be 1200 percent. Very simple question. Fine. Question number 10, based on partnership, now A, B, C, they are three partners. They started a business by investing rupees 1,20,000, 1,35,000 and 1,50,000 respectively. So basically 1,20,000, 1,35,000 and 1,50,000. Fine. So find the share of C out of an annual profit of 56,700. So the and, uh, share of C we need to find out. Now uh, let me cancel these out. ये तो आराम से cancel हो रहा है. और 15 से इनको cancel करें, so the ratio will become 8 ratio, 9 ratio, 10. Now C owns 10 part out of every 10 plus 9 plus 8. That is 27 parts. This is 7, uh, 10 part C का रहता है. And total कितना distribute करना है? 57 with 56, 700. Fine. अब देखिए हम 27 से से cut करते हैं. तो this will be 2 times 54, 27, 1 and 2100. So the value comes out to be 2100 into 10, that is 21,000. Option C. Fine. So question number 11. 15 men working 9 hours a day can reap a field in 16 days. In how many days will 18 men reap the field working 8 hours a day? Very simple question based on direct formula from uh, time and work. So M1 T1 upon W1 is equal to M2 T2 over W2. Now M1 and 2 are number of men. So number of men into time taken or it's not work ki divided by that is equal to number of men into time taken in second case divided by work done in second case for simple formula hai. so number of men first case we get another 15 time kitna hai? nine hours per day or 16 days so 16 into nine total time ho gaya. now let us assume unhone w work complete kiya hai. second case me in how many days will the 18 18 men so number of men is 18 read the field same field hai, toh bhi work w hoga and working 8 hours a day. So 8 hours work kar rahe, let us assume they are working for X days. Now see, ye w, so w ko cancel ho jayega because work is same. Fine, 9 se 2 mein ye cancel karte hai. 2 into 8 is 16. So ye bhi cancel ho hai. X from here comes out to be 15 days. The answer is option B, 15. Question number 12. A and B undertake to do a piece of work for 600 rupees. A alone can do it in 6 days. And B alone can do it in 8 days. With the help of C. So basically, when all the three work together, they completed the work in three days only. Find the share of C. Now let us first find out their efficiencies. Just see the jada efficiency of So I am assuming the total work to be 24 units. Why 24? LCM of 6, 8, and 3. Now A is able to complete these 24 units of work in 6 hours, or in fact, 6 days. So basically, he is doing 4 units per day. B is doing a B can complete 24 units of work in 8 days, so B is doing 3 units per day. And all the 3 together uh, can complete the work in 3 days only, so they are basically doing 8 units per day. In 8 units, we say 7 units, so A or B will kar rahe So A or B is 7 units, kar rahe so remaining 1 unit must be completed by C. So we can say that A ki efficiency is 6 units per day, B ki efficiency is 3 units per day, and that of C is 1 unit per day. So, C ka part kitna hoga, total share kitna hoga, 1 out of how much? 10. 1 out of 10 of total uh, amount to be distributed is 600. Uh, I think I have, uh, this is 4 basically. Ye A ki value 4 hai. So, this is 8. So, 1 by 8 of 600. So, that is equal to 75 rupees. So, the correct answer is option C, 75. 
Okay, question number 13 again, based on time and work concept only pipes and cisterns. So two pipes can fill the tank in 10 hours and 12 hours. So let pipe A can fill the tank in 10 hours, B can fill the same tank in 12 hours. A third pipe C empties the full tank in 20 hours. So I have to use the account. Why am I not? Because in negative work. Right? Empty karna is negative work, right? So in if all the three pipes are uh, operating simultaneously, in how many, much time will the tank will be filled? So let us assume the total capacity of the tank to be LCM of these three numbers. So let us assume it to be 60. So A 10 hours may 60 units fill kar hai. Basically, A is filling 6 liters per hour. B 12 hours may 60 fill kar hai. That means B is filling 5 liters per hour. And C 20 hours may 60 empty kar hai. So minus 3 liters per hour ki rate se empty kar hai. When all the three work together, so A6 fill, karenge, B5 fill, karenge, or C3 empty. Karenge. So basically, 11 fill, but 3 empty, so 8 liters per hour fill. Ho hai. Now we need to fill 60, per hour we are filling 8 liters, so how much time will 7.5 hours. So the correct answer is 7 hours and 30 minutes. Question number 14. A man travelled from village to post office. Let this system be D at a rate of 25 km per hour. And he returned at a rate of 4 km per hour. If the whole journey took 5 hours and 48 minutes, now 48 minutes, when we convert this 48 minutes in hours, so we'll get 4 by 5 hours. So this is basically 5 4 by 5 hours or 29 by 5 hours. Huh? Find the distance. So basically, we need to find the value of D. Now see, distance upon speed, this is the time from reaching post office from village and again distance upon speed, this is the time for the return journey. So the total time is this, d by 25 plus d by 4 and the total time is given as 29 by 4, 5. Fine. So let us compare these two values. So this will become 29 d over 100 is equal to 29 over 5. 29 and 29 gets cancelled. 5 say 20 times we cancel. Hota hai. So D comes out to be 20. So the distance between village and post office is 20 kilometers. Okay, question number 15. A train which is 150 meter long fine, is running with a speed of 68 kilometer per hour. In this direction, let us assume. In what time will it pass a man who is running at 8 kilometer per hour in the same direction? So the man is running at 8 kilometer per hour. In same direction. Okay, so see when both the train and man are running in the same direction, so their relative speed will be 68 minus 8 kmph, that is 60 km per hour. And distance is distance to be covered is 150 meters only. So the time will be distance upon speed. So distance is 150 meter. Now see this distance is in meters, see kilometer per hour. Mein hai. So what we need to do is it's going to 5 by 18 kar lete hai, to change it into meter per second. Now the answer will be in meter per second. So, so this becomes 150 into 18 over 60 into 5. So this is 30. 2 may cancel out and this is 9. So the answer comes out to be 9 seconds. Option C is the correct answer. So guys in this video I am covering till question number 15 only. The next 15 question I will cover in the next video. So I hope these questions are clear to you. Thank you so much for watching the video.